Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can wireless transfer files between your iPhone 11 and the Windows 10 computer. So you need to be connected to the same network on your phone and your computer. So before we can transfer, we need to set up your Windows 10 computer uh, to have a share folder. So here on my Windows 10, I'm going to go into this PC and go into the drive that you want to create a folder. I'm going to go into system. Uh, C drive, then I right click and click on new new folder, so select folder and then we're just going to give it a name you can give it any name you like and then uh, next we want to click on the Windows icon and then click on the settings icon over here and in here click on accounts so click on accounts and then Notice the name of your account. So this one here is local admin. And then close it. Now I right click on the folder and click on property. Then click on sharing and click on advanced sharing. Next, click on share this folder checkbox. And then tap on permissions button. Next, we want to click on add and type in the name of the account so this is the account that you are using to log into your computer then click on check names if the account is put in correctly it should show something like this and you want to click on OK button and from here you want to click on uh, OK apply and then OK and then click on OK and over here you want to go over and click on the security tab click on advance uh, before you do that just click on edit button at the top here click on edit and then click on add and then again we need to put in local admin click on check names then click on ok so if it comes out like this then that means you put in the correct um, name then click on ok and then click on apply down here then click on OK. Uh, one more thing. So when you um, click on local admin, make sure you allow full control. So click on full control and then click on applied. Then click on OK. And then from here, click on close. So now we have uh, created a folder called David SMB. It is a share folder. So next we want to open up your command prompt. So I'm going to uh, in the search box so in the search box down here uh, type in command prompt so command prompt right here open up and in command prompt we want to type in IP config to get the IP address of your computer so you can see the IP address here is 192.168.1.10 once you have this information we can now go back to your iPhone Okay, now we're back on an iPhone. So on your iPhone, go to files. And in files, make sure that you're in the browse folder. And then tap on the three dots at the top here, which is the options button. And then tap on connect to server. In here, we're going to put in the IP address that we have uh, identified in that command prompt, which is 192.168.1.10. Dot 1.10 that is the IP address of the computer of your Windows 10 computer so we're going to tap on connect and then we need to put in the username remember that username local admin so put in that username and password so the password is the the password that you use that you use to connect to your uh, Windows 10 computer so put in the username and password and tap on next and now you can see the folder here shows David SMB. So tap on that folder. And in here at the moment it has no files. But let's say if I want to create a file on this folder here, you can see as soon as I create a new file, it will appear on the phone right here. So I'm just going to create a new text document. You can see on my computer I just create a file and it just shows right here. So let's take a look at how you can share files uh, between your phone and your computer. Okay, this is on a Windows computer, on Windows 10. I'm just going to close that. I'll pop this PC. Then I'll open up C drive. 
and I'm going to open up that folder um, David SMB right here and you can see there's one file at the moment and this is on my phone so if I delete a file over here on the Windows computer delete you can see immediately it's also get erased on the iPhone so let's say I want to copy some files over um, so I'm going to go back home screen and let's say if you want to copy photos so you've got photos that you want to copy to the computer we tap on photos app and let's say I want to select um, some photos that I want to transfer so I'm just going to transfer a couple of photos and then I'm going to tap on the share button and then I'm going to choose save to files and here you can see now I have uh, an, an additional option which is the share folder that I have set up on my Windows 10 computer so I'm going to tap on that and I'm going to choose David SMB and then I tap on save button and as soon as I tap on the save button you should see on my computer it will shows so they say this operation couldn't be complete permission denied okay so that means we have some permission issues on the folder so we're going to check on the folder to make sure that we have uh, access the right access so I'm going to go here right click click on property then click on sharing and then click on advanced sharing and we click on permissions and make sure local admin has full control of the folder so if you didn't uh, if we if we somehow miss out that steps make sure that you go back in here and make sure you have full control click on ok click on apply click on ok and then close and we try it again this time back to the iPhone tap on save to files and then tap on the drive tap on the folder and then tap on save and then I'm going to go into this folder here you can see the file is now starting to transfer over to the computer as you can see so those are the files so just in case you miss out the, the step where you have to apply the full control permission uh, make sure you do that and that's it so now we have successfully transferred files over so other things to do is you go into my files or files uh, files manager here open it and then in here you can go to one of the drives so let's say you want to go to um, my iPhone and in here snapseed I got a few photos in snapseed folder so we can select that so we can select a couple of photos even files so documents scan documents whatever that you have tap on uh, uh, the share button down here and then down here you want to choose save to files and again we want to choose this folder here the, which is the folder on the computer and then tap on David SMB and then tap on save and now you can see files starting to transfer over scan documents etc will be uh, saved to the computer so it's still transferring you can see this file this icon here showing that it's still trying to uh, save files onto the computer so that's how you can transfer files over you can also copy files on the computer to your phone as well so I'm just going to cancel this now because it, it takes a little bit of time so I'm just going to close that and tap on done so let's say you want to copy files on the computer over to your phone so I'm just going to erase all of this here now so I'll go back here in here in here and you can see now I'm going to erase some of the files so I erase everything delete so now it's all gone on the phone as well it should be it just um, slowly updating the phone at the moment and let's say I'm going to create a new file here on the computer called um, text documents new text documents and you can see on my phone I have a new text document so I'll just go in here and tap on select on the computer so I'm going to select that file and then I'm going to share or save and then tap on save as and this time I'm going to choose it to my phone save it to my phone so on my iPhone and then download and then tap on save and now that has been saved to my iPhone so on my iPhone and in downloads so you can see that new text doc documents is now saved to my iPhone so that's how you can share files on your uh, iPhone 11 and the computer that's how you can transfer file between the two 
uh, wirelessly. And after you have uh, finished uh, transferring the files, I would recommend you uh, turn off file sharing uh, just for the security safety. Uh, right click on the folder on uh, your C drive and click on properties. In properties, click on sharing and you will probably want to uh, uh, turn off sharing. So if you click on this one here, you can remove sharing on that one. So go on to advanced uh, sharing and click on permissions and then make sure that either you deselect the allow option or you can uh, simply remove it altogether. At a later point, you can always add that user back in and then click on applied. Or if you have um, finished, you can uh, simply move files after folder and delete that folder completely so that um, you are not uh, accidentally sharing the folder on a network where other people might be able to access that folder. And that's it. That's how you can share files between the two. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.